first we initiate the fuzzy logic uh, dialog box we say fuzzy uh, somewhere on the screen fuzzy logic designer is going to pop up so I'm bringing it to my screen so it is going to look like this now I'm dealing with a cruise control for a car so the system is going to be two inputs so I go to the edit I say add variable and I say input so my second input comes out my first input is going to be distance my second input is speed my output is the brake So now I define my inputs and outputs. Now I have to define my membership functions. To define the membership functions, I'm going to go to the distance. When I double click on the distance, my membership function editor will come out. My membership function editor is like this. Uh, as a default, it is going to define us three areas. Now, if you want, you can use these. If you want, you can adjust them by selecting them and uh, moving them on the screen. Uh, if you want, you can select the type of them. So if you want to select the type of them, you can go here and you can select whichever shape you want to uh, get for them now let's say this one and we can go here and we can say uh, like uh, this shape we can go select something like this we can select uh, this one so you can select whatever is going to be the best for you so let's say that we are going to work with this one and uh, in our case the distance is going to be close Uh, the distance is going to be uh, medium and our distance is going to be far Uh, when it comes to the speed uh, we are going to have slow medium speed for this one For this one, we are going to select it fast. Now we are going to decide for the uh, break. On the break, we are going to uh, give no break. We are going to just light touch. and we are going to say um, break
Now, when we uh, define all these uh, membership functions, we are uh, defined our inputs, outputs, and membership functions. Now, we are ready to give the rules. Now, if you want to give the rules, you go to the edit, and you go to the rules, and someone somewhere on the screen you are going to have this rule editor on the rule editor we go here now if the distance is close and our speed is fast what are we going to do we are going to push the brakes all the way and after this we are going to go to the bottom uh, let's put it like this so you can see those things and we are going to say add rule and we are going to have our first rule and then if the uh, distance is close and the speed is medium then we are going to again apply the brakes so we are going to say add rule if we are uh, going close and we are going even slow we are going to apply the brakes it's we are going to say add rule now if the distance is medium and if you are going slow then I'm not going to touch the brake if I'm going medium and the speed is medium then I'm going to have a light touch uh, when we wrote, uh, we, I didn't push the uh, enter button, so because of it, M MF2 is staying here. Um, if the, it is medium, I'm going to select this, I'm going to say add roll, and if I'm going fast, if the distance is medium, then again I'm going to push the push to break and this is going to be add rule. Now if the distance is far and if I'm going slow then I'm not going to push to break. I, if I'm going medium I'm not going to push to break and if I'm going fast the distance is far uh, I'm not going to push to break. So I obtained my rules. Now, if I want, I can see the rules I set it up. If I go to the view, say rules, then I'm going to get the rule viewer. Again, it's going to show up on somewhere on the screen. If I bring it down, I'm going to see uh, this picture. Now, what this picture says, this picture shows us when we have different inputs, what type of output we are going to get. For example, if the distance is here and the distance is uh, large let's bring to distance large and if you are going to bring the speed to the slow uh, this is going to be uh, this distance from zero to this red line is going to show how much brake I'm going to apply now if I'm going to increase the speed if the speed is a little bit higher then I would apply more brake you see the red move to the right. If the speed is higher, then this is what I apply. If the speed is higher, uh, this is the brake I apply. Um, if the distance is close, I'm applying more force. If the distance is closer, I'm applying the force, I'm applying the brakes with the force. 
So in this way, uh, when you move uh, this vertical red line, uh, it is showing what the distance is. And whenever you live at a point, it is looking at the membership functions and it checks where it intersects the membership function. So it doesn't intersect this membership function. So I don't see anything. But in this case, it is uh, intersecting this membership function here. So all the intersection uh, function is turned to the red. Um, here, uh, it is intersecting here. So all the intersection function is turned to the uh, yellow. Uh, this one again, again, it's not touching to these membership functions. So these didn't uh, change the color. And then uh, the same thing for the speed, wherever this vertical line is, wherever it intersects uh, these membership functions, you see the membership function below that uh, intersection level is turning to yellow. And again, if I'm going to go down here, uh, there is an intersection below it is yellow. In this case, uh, the membership function is here and the intersection here is, this is the yellow and so forth. And then it is looking at the uh, rule. Um, if the distance, this rule is, if the distance is whatever it is, and whatever this one is, my output is going to be uh, end function. The end function is, it is going to look at these two input membership functions. In these two input membership functions, whichever is the lowest, that is going to be taken and it is going to be put here. If the rule was or uh, this membership function or this membership function, then it would select this entire triangle. So these uh, in the rules, uh, you can use and or or. Uh, in our case, we use the if the distance is this and if the speed is this, uh, we said, okay, you go and you do this. So it is going to uh, take um, the, going to look at these two membership functions and it is going to select uh, whichever is the lowest that is going to come here. Again, between these two membership functions, this rule number six is going to look at uh, the one on the left, the one on the right, lowest one is going to show up here and eventually it is going to add all of them uh, and their addition is going to come up here and when their addition comes up here it is going to look at the center of gravity of this shape and wherever the center of gravity is this red line is going to appear now uh, if you want to check uh, quickly what is going on uh, how the rules you give you can go to the view and you can say surface in that case somewhere on the screen you are going to get the surface viewer let's bring the surface viewer here the surface viewer is going to show you all the possible scenarios this works only when you have two variables when you have three variables, then uh, you can do it between only uh, two of them. So here uh, you see uh, possible distance values. You see possible speed values. If your speed is high, you are here. And you see that uh, the braking is going to be completely applied here. Um, if the distance is very, very close, the brake is going to be applied. However, if the distance is a little bit more 
and the speed is a little bit less then it is going to apply less force to the uh, brakes so here you see that uh, it is more lenient it is not going to push the brakes all the way so you can uh, put your cursor here you can change it and you can see for the, all the possible scenarios what is going to happen good luck with your problem